Hey, it's Ryan. It's Saturday. I don't know, probably 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I got a lot of other junk done first. Here's my next project. Kia project. Uh, I, you know, something was going on. Well, the battery is junk. It wasn't holding the charge, and now it was starting to get so low on uh, voltage on the way home from work. That uh, the transmission wouldn't shift. The electronics wasn't getting enough voltage. It was running like 11, 8 volts. And it was going into limp mode where I only had first and second in reverse if I shifted it manually and didn't have overdrive. Well, I charged the battery up good, took it out for a drive. Because I had to run my lights in the morning and stuff because it had been raining and it pulled the battery down. And if I drive around, the heat on top of it, just not enough voltage. Beware of that. If some of the electronics on your new vehicle starts acting up like a transmission or anything, check your freaking voltage and stuff for all your electricals first. Because that's the problem on this one. I know that I replaced the switch that uh, controls if it goes from manual. That's broke. I made a video before. I know all that's still good. Electronicals, not enough electricity, so it was not having enough juice to kick the solenoids in the transmission which it automatically threw it into safety mode where it just run off the manual part with the lever but no high gear no overdrive Ugh, damn flies are biting me already okay but that so i gotta get a new battery for that here's the today what i'm gonna try to get done yet before too late this hei distributor no electronic box stuff oh and there's a allen key in there good thing i've seen that Hang on. Ah, hands are full. High performance HEI, supposedly high performance. Here. Uh, I should have took it out of the baggie first, huh? There it is. Okay. Oh, and that's nice. Fucking cap's cracked. Look at that. Damaged in shipment. Well, I'll have to buy a new cap. I can buy one. Yeah, uh, they're all GM, but yeah, that's what the little plastic bits were. That baby took a hit. Oh, yeah, right there. Thank you, fucking Flea Bay. But, I don't think it hurt anything else. It's just a cap. I'll just buy another cap. Oh, great. It never ends. Never ends. Just never freaking ends. Yeah, it took a hell of a hit right there, right on the cap. But this just covers up the coil. It's just a cap. No big deal. I'll probably just silicone it. And then order a new one. Or pick one up in my parts store in town. Yeah, I suppose that's another $15 part, though. <laughs> but, yeah, one wire, plus, minus, this is all. It's going to get rid of this freaking box. Dirt, spark, junk from the seven, early 70s, not even a number two. Getting rid of that. As much of this wiring as I can, the coil's going. That distributor's coming out. I can use the same plug wires. I'm going to try to get a bunch of this other junk wiring off this harness that they put in from, like, an 89 because uh, they were idiots. They didn't use this to change the motor and they didn't just use the original wiring harness. It's all this extra crap. I'm going to try to delete as much of the wiring as I can with the time I got. Uh, but I don't have time to go through the schematics and trace every freaking line. It's got a little computer control module because that was a computer controlled carburetor that they put on a fuel injected engine. This was a fuel injected engine block. Oh, it just never ends. Yeah, just idiots, idiots, idiots. But I'm going to get it going. And I uh, just wanted to show you what it looks like, this freaking nightmare mess here. Okay, um, I said I'm going to try to delete as much of this wiring quickly as possible without screwing something else up like any of my sensors for temp and everything like that. But yeah, th this is the mess that's going to come out. I said I got a misfire about 2900 three grand, and I just can't get rid of it. I have a feeling it is this box and distributor set up. So we're going to put that HEI in with the crack cap. I'll just silicon carry it for now. I said I'll order a new one. Yeah, go from there. We'll see what happens. All right. I'll, make, I'll add on the video, make another one, splice them together, whatever, when I get it all in and running. Okay? You don't need to see me ripping and cutting and tearing. And if you want to see how to install one, there's videos on YouTube, how to install a distributor and all the stuff. You got to mark it and get timing right. Drop you. Yeah, I'm just going to show you what, if it's a little cleaner and hopefully it runs better uh, when I get it half cleaned up and that put in. All right, man. Peace. Love, have a heart, have a heart. I'll be back. God the angels let me. Ciao. Frickin' bugs out here.
Hey, hey, Johnny, I'm back. Remember, although I gotta take this box off yet, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with these. I'll be cutting these off, but I might need them to power so I get power back to my uh, gauges. All this wire, <laughs> see that big chunk? Right there, coming out of the firewall. That, that goes to some kind of computer box that wasn't even supposed to be in this truck. Ran all the way around all this shit that you don't need. All the way over and plugged into some little vacuum thingy over there. Well, it's gone. Here's here's what's left of it. Right here. This. That's off of like a 89 or 90. Right there. Well, I take that back. That part's got that red connector. Well, yeah, that might be an 86, 7. No, that'd be an 88 or 90. This is off like an 89 ignition for the distributor. That was all hanging there and they weren't even, it wasn't even using that type. It was a 77. All this crap was from two or three different styles of harnesses they had jambled together. Ah, and it's working. Look how nice and clean. But I'm going to clean up that mess with that big harness. I checked all the wires. There's none hot when you got the key on. It's all this computer box feed crap for emissions apparently from... This motor was an 89, I believe. So yeah, it was fuel injected at one time. But there's my HEI ignition with my silicone cap. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll clean it up a little better. Like I said, the one thing with this whole jumbled up mess, I lost the power to my gauges on the dash. No water temp right now, no oil pressure. Uh, I'm sure the well, the fuel gauge never did work. But that's the only thing I got to hunt down. I'll have to search through out of this wiring. Apparently it went through one of these boxes somehow and fed it. But I'll have to just maybe run it direct to fuse spot on the uh, yeah, fuse box inside. Like it probably was originally. But yeah, there it is. And no more bang, pop, pop, bang on idle. I haven't quite timed it perfect yet. I don't use a timing light. I just set it by ear and I'm letting it sit after I rant a little bit. And I'm going to see if it starts hard right now. But watch this. It's been sitting 5, 8, 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, I'm not touching the throttle or nothing. Turn the key on. Here's a clunky clunky electric fuel pump. Because it was a fuel injected motor at one time. Didn't have a fuel pump like that. Okay, let's go see. You ain't got to get a fuel injected automobile to start any nicer than that. Hi, Birdie. And looky there. And my custom coated valve cover gasket is not dripping. And if I walk around and listen. I noticed something missing. The misfire isn't hitting anymore, really. It had that pop, 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 pop. I said it had to be an ignition. I checked everything, the valves, everything. Yeah, it was an ignition. Same here on this side. No pop, pop on idle. No little stutter misfire on idle. I guarantee you that misfire at three grand's gone too. You can hear that. There's not a misfire, even a tinge of one. And all that crap. I said if you take hook all those wires together, there's well over a hundred feet again. That didn't even have to be on there, should have never been in there. Whoever had this before you was a freaking moron that thought they knew what they were doing. This is a kind of computer crawl controlled at one time carburetor that has all the smog stuff ripped off. And all the electronicals ripped off if it did have it. I don't know why they even bought it. They should have used the harness that was with the 84 when the motor, but they took out the first one and left it off. And that would have been probably this Duraspark. No, that would have been a Duraspark too, and this is old 77, the first Duraspark. Yeah, there you go. I might advance that timing just a little more. No more pop, pop, misfire. But yeah, I'll have to get my gauges figured out. Otherwise, I got... A temp gauge, the electrical temp gauge, and electrical uh, oil pressure gauge. Some, well, yeah, there's the oil pressure gauge right here. I got a water temp gauge somewhere, too. I was looking them up. Those are $65 now, electric. Auto meter. I can just put that in. 
if I can't find the wires that are probably missing from then clustering everything up on the wiring diagram I'll just put two gauges on the dash like the good old days with them round ones and I can see them but yeah there you go no misfires no thump and thump no pop pop no nothing freaking ignition that box was shot you can see down along the edge she's been getting warm and cooking goo out as you can see around there see that black that's not supposed to be there and that's not where that originally would have mounted it would have been mounted over here on the deal I think oh it might have been there on 84 but yeah I gotta take that off yet I'm just gonna go take a test run it and see if I can advance the timing a little bit and then come home and do a little grilling and chilling out on the deck, it's hot. It was up to 88 out here for a while. And then the sun was beating on me, but I want to get it done. I said, tomorrow maybe I'll make a run while everybody's out, but the bang boom and out, messing around out and doing that crap. Maybe I'll make a burn to Walmart or Minard to get me a new battery up for the Kia Racer. So I don't got to play with that and worry about losing voltage on it again. But yeah, there you go. There it is. <laughs> All I got to do is put my air cleaner back on. And if you're wondering what this little hose is for, Right here, people see that. This is the vent tube for the carburetor. I got that extra hose on it because when I go four wheeling and you're climbing up a dam, back of a dam or something that's like this, fuel will come out of the football and run back down into the carburetor straight into it through that vent hole and flood it out and choke it off bigger than Dallas. And I mean, it just pours it full and it don't want to start. So you put a rubber hose like that up above it. So now when I got the air cleaner on, It'll be underneath the air clean, up in the air cleaner. It'll maybe pour out into the air cleaner around the bottom, but it won't go get, get into the carburetor while I'm on that climb. It works every time. That's an old Volkswagen Beetle Baja trick. Worked perfect on here, too. All right, man, peace. Love, have a heart, have a heart. I said it's all working perfect except for that freaking no dash gauges, but I'll figure it out. But what a mess. I hunted through schematics and none of their stuff match. I found the one hot wire I knew was right that they hadn't cut and messed into at all. One or two of them, everything just jumbled. But yeah, it's going to look a lot neater, I said, and I'll get that big harness, the rest of it, probably cut off. And if there's nothing else that I need, I'm going to yank that stupid computer box they got freaking zip tied under the dash out, because it ain't supposed to be there. That's for like a 93, 94, or at least an 87 that had this electronic carburetor and it wasn't fuel injected yet but I don't know what they were doing I think it might be a computer off a fuel injected one because this was 89 I believe at least because it was fuel injected so yeah it just whoever had it screwed everything up the main harness was this little one coming out right here and the little one over there and all that shit uh, didn't even need to be in there alright take care I love you uh, I'll see you before Independence Day it can be done just take your time I said I gotta get the gauges working, but other than that, beauty. Oh, and it sounds so much better. I'm sure it's gonna run better and probably get better mileage. All right, take care. Love you all. Peace. Be safe. I'll be back. Ciao.